Welcome to Cisco Packet Tracer. Connect devices to a home gateway and monitor the network. It seems that every day we learn of new things that can be added to our homes to make them more efficient and convenient to use. Security systems, smart appliances, and home entertainment systems are just a few of the devices that we can add and monitor through the network, either at home or even remotely. We're going to use Packet Tracer to prototype a smart home network. Home networks usually connect to the internet through an internet service provider, such as the cable provider shown here. Let's add some smart devices to this network to illustrate some of the configuration steps necessary to set them up in the home. We'll start with the gateway device. To access the device menu, click Network Devices, and then choose Wireless Devices and locate the home gateway. Move it to the workspace. We will connect using a straight-through Ethernet cable. We'll connect it to the home gateway and to the cable modem. Clicking on the home gateway, we can view and make changes to its operation and configuration. All of the devices that we add to the home network will connect either wired or wirelessly through the gateway device. There are four tabs displayed in the window. The physical tab, as you can see, shows the device. It has an internet port, four LAN ports, and multiple antenna. The configuration tab gives you a list of all of the interfaces and network settings that are configurable. The GUI tab shows the registration server inside the device that allows for interaction with IoT devices. It is on by default but can be turned off. The Attributes tab is blank by default but can show features and values such as the mean time between failure, cost, power source, and wattage. Now that we have the Home Gateway installed, let's add a mobile device that we can use to control the operation of our smart home. We'll use a tablet to access devices through the IoT Monitor application. Let's select some of the devices to add to our smart home network. A secure door lock is the first item. We will need to connect the door lock to the IoT server in our home gateway in order to be able to access it through the network. Now that the door lock is connected to the server, it will appear in the IoT Monitor application on the tablet. As you can see, the door shows as one of the IoT devices. If we expand the door, we can see that the door is currently unlocked. If we want to lock the door, we can click the lock button. Now, if we look at the door, we can see that the door is locked. Take some time to explore the various devices that can be added to the smart home. Enjoy exploring and learning with Cisco Packet Tracer.